Coming up this week on Archer's Choice. That was cool. <laughs> and all of a sudden he starts doing it. He's doing the hell gob dance. <laughs> Welcome to the Archer's Choice. That's right, and again, another season full of exciting adventures. Unbelievable, incredible Hoyt action. You got it. Hit him where it Hoyt's, baby. You got it all out now? I think so. Okay, we've got plenty of good stuff to show you and share with you, and we still have the Lucky Logo going. Lucky on. Logo, you know, the one where you keep looking for it and you always find it, but you never call, or you do, and you're like, how can we never win? Well, guess what? It's time. Okay, anyways, this week's Lucky Logo is a Maristep, and someone's gonna win some great stuff from Maristep. Could be ground blind, could be tree stand, could be whatever. He's starting already. All you have to do is look for the Maristep logo, and at the end of the show, we're gonna tell you what to do. Now, you're gonna head west, young man. Said go west, young man. Old man. Me being the... Yeah, one or the other. Anyways, he's going to Sierra Vista, out, where, out, out west. Out west. Go hunting elk. Young man, go west. Beat my elk. Sierra Vista with Hal Gom, and we had an incredible hunt. You know what was really cool? We start off this season, oh, it was so awesome, without Vic. Yeah, baby. We're hoping to put this tag on a big bull. Hey, there's the big galook. Stay down there. This is cool. I look tall. <laughs> what are you doing, brother? <laughs> I was like, I was like, what is this, a rattlesnake there? Last year, Vicky was here, and Vicky shot a, just shy a 360 bull in Colorado. I don't know if you, if, if anyone who follows elk hunting, that's unheard of. All right, when Dr. Jim, Hal, and everybody said that, hey, Ralph, if you want to come out next year, you, you know, you're always welcome. We're like, um, okay, yeah. You know, what was cool was to know that, well, I had a chance to beat Vicky. Again, Sela Vista Ranch is in southern Colorado. It's 80,000 acres. Um, very diverse in the fact that there's over 50 miles of trout stream, over 200 miles of logging road here, so it's a real accessible ranch. When they say heavenly view, Sela Vista, that's what that means, heavenly view. And, I think that's, you know, it's probably one of the closest things that you can get to an incredible sight when you get here. You know, this ain't like a normal elk hunt where, you know, you're, you're backpacking in and it's, it, you know, you're really going to rough it, you're going to be miserable because, you know, Hal, <laughs> Stacy, they, they take care of you here, I'm telling you. You know, I mean, you'll get up early, we load it up the bad boy buggy, we take that with the truck and trailer because, so you, so you keep as much energy as you can in the buggies, you know, we'll head up. Hal knows where he's going each day, he, you know, each hunt. Whether it's the morning hunt or the afternoon, he pretty much knows. And a lot of people are saying, a buggy? You're taking a bad boy buggy elk hunting. Well, here's the deal. It is quiet. It covers a lot, way more ground than you possibly think you can, you know, on foot. And because you have, you're, you're in that mode, literally, we could be hitting all, on, every time you're going up that mountain and you're hitting those curves, we're doing a call. Whether, you know, whether we're cow calling or bugling or whatever we may be doing, we're doing this and we're hurry up and going and, and you're covering so much more land. They know how to cover the land in a short period of time and not disturb anything and it's absolutely amazing. You know, the opening morning we got the bad boy buggy loaded up. We started hunting low and of course trying to get in those bulls it was pretty slow. Bulls weren't bugling pretty early yet and didn't have didn't have a lot going on. We were uh, going around pretty quietly with the with the uh, buggy, but um, not much luck. We 
just drove up and we got a bull bugling down here in the Aspens. It's time to get serious. Wild animals have a unique ability to pinpoint where that sound's coming from. You know, we don't have that little magical wand, you go, boop, there you go. It don't happen that way in the real world. Here's the deal. You're calling, you're bugling, you're cow calling. You need a partner or a decoy to help draw that attention away from you. One of the biggest times of getting caught is that bull comes straight into you and he's facing right on. That's not a good shot. You want to wait till he's a quarter and away or broadside. Well, the reality of it is, is your setup is so critical. Have that decoy and you call away from it. So when that bull comes in, he sees that decoy or he, you've got your wife or your hunting buddy or your, your guide calling over there. It draws all their attention that way. This way, let them walk by you. Get it, stay in the shadows, and you're able to come to full draw and zap them. That is your bow hunting world tip of the week. What we've got here is we've got a drainage, and it's coming off, and because this is early season, and it's hot, it is really hot, we're gonna have these, a lot of these elk are gonna come down here. They're just starting to hit that wallows, so Hal knows, I mean, he knows the whole area, but he knows this drainage, and all up through here, we have all these little wallows. So what we're gonna do, right? I mean, he wants to take the bad boy. And all the way up, you can see that high country up, yep, there, up there, all the rock. We're gonna wind all the way up in there. And if we don't get him in the wallows right now, we're, I think we'll, we'll get, get into him up there, yeah. Cool. season elk hunting is pretty tough when that heat is so high but the reality of it is they're gonna go where it's cooler those little steep ravines dark timber ravines with the cool and we know they're there and next morning we woke up and well we knew each day it was only gonna get better some of these animals we did this morning we're letting them be we're going up this drainage that Hal knows a lot about and we're just doing some calls trying to hear some bulls and see if we can see some action if we do then we'll pursue it otherwise it's just like a running gun man we're gonna keep it going fast this, this road cuts it gets up here and cuts way back that way Oh, 
we stay at like a 65 degree angle. <laughs> it's not fair. How can you beat this September 2nd? It is, it was probably, what, 80 some degrees today. Yeah. And we still had, we had two bulls bugling this morning. We had at least three to four, maybe more, up in this basin here. Thanks, buddy. Hey, hey. Great day. You're welcome. Sorry. Sorry, we didn't get, get one coming in. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Did you ever know when you wake up certain days and you're like, today's the day? Yeah, every day. Today's the day. <laughs> today's the day for what? Don't talk to me. <laughs> it was such a cool, such a cool morning. You know, Hal says, we're gonna go up high, we're gonna take the spot and scope, we're gonna get up in this meadow, we're gonna get right below this big meadow, right at Timberline, and where he's, he knows these elk have been. Okay, I got him. One, two, three, four, five, okay, there they are. You see the first branch, the second branch, they're right to the left. You can see them with your naked eye. Oh yeah, I see. He's a shooter. One on the horizon. Yeah, I see it. We're like, oh, Hal, you brought us to the spot, baby. You brought us to the spot. Well, here we are. We, we're, we're, we're going, we're putting on my little stalking booties, and we had a set for everybody. Hal's like, listen, we got to make a move. We got the, the thermals, the winds, we got to start moving on something. We get in, and Hal's like, all right, well, we, we're looking, we're glassing, and we spot one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't know how many elk. I cannot tell you how many elk were up there. And then we start looking, and we're looking at the edge. We got the edge spotting scope, and we're looking, and you, you zoom in, and we're like, there's a bull. There's, there's a bull. There's, there's another bull. There's another bull. There's, oh, look over the horizon. There's another bull. And all the, I mean, all of a sudden, I'm telling you, we got 12, 13 bulls up on this face. We got bulls bugling down below us. We got bulls up here. I mean, there's, they start to sing. Well, Hal's on his cow call, I'm on my bugle. We're singing right back at him. And we start to realize that we've got a couple bulls that are hot. We get this one bull coming in. I look at him and I'm like, oh, I'm gonna hold off. Hope I don't regret it. And he comes and Hal, Hal's got the decoy and he's like, he's doing the little Hal Gom dance, you know, with the decoy, bringing that cow back and forth. And that bull is hooked on her. And this bull doesn't have a clue. He's 12 yards from me. I'm hunkered down, Joe's hunkered filming. Hal's not moving, he's got the cow decoy up. He's cow calling, he's mewing. This bull won't leave. all of a sudden this bull walks his way up and he gets in back of us not to our scent yet so we're I'm safe I reach for my bugle I bu I try to hit this bull down below 
boom, he answers right away. We know this, this guy's coming. And all of a sudden, bada bing, baby, he goes down. He couldn't, uh, he couldn't, he couldn't quite resist Elvira. Huh? <laughs> that was cool. <laughs> I didn't know if you were gonna shoot or not, but I thought, you know what? It's not gonna get us. I mean, as far as as far as an elk coming in and performing like that. You can't. No, that was that was incredible. Did you see him go down? Oh yeah, or yeah. He, I watched him go down. I hurried up. I took him, and that, I, you know what happened. That arrow hit the opposite leg. Yes, sir. And you saw right when he, yeah, he goes. I bugle. He stops. He's looking, and all of a sudden he starts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he's doing the hell gum dance. <laughs> we did it, bro. Thanks, Good job, baby. man. <sighs> yeah, baby. Is that what we could say? <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Sierra Vista. This bull comes in. It was the second bull. It was about the twelfth to thirteenth bull that we heard bugle this morning. Yes, sir. We, Hal brought us up on this plateau. We're looking out here and there were elk, there were bulls everywhere. I'm telling you for, in the frame, I think I had six different branch antler bulls. This is early September. Everyone thinks you gotta be, you know, in the rut, in the rut. We, see, this is a pre-rut situation and they are coming in and it's active. It's a cooler day. It's been beautiful and this is the mega Colorado elk hunt that you could be on. I mean, this is it. We've had, to be in, in Colorado, to be anywhere elk hunting in an early season like this, and to have this kind of activity, you can't touch it. Hey man, thank you brother. Thanks for making a great shot, all right? Oh, hey. Thanks for making a great shot. He, he didn't go far no. man, at all. And he went down on camera too. And you know, right when I hit him, you, I think you were cow calling, I yeah. bugled, he turned and he looked like, and all of a sudden it was like, yeah, he started to do like the Hal Gom dance. <laughs> and you know I can't dance. <laughs> you know I can't. Us white boys can't dance. That's right. We know. And he is a Dittler bull dead in the logging road, baby. <laughs>was that awesome or what that was awesome wow he went down fast with that blood runner man you you I, you know shot placement is everything absolutely you put it where it's supposed to be and it the story it, the game is over and we need to thank Hal and dr. Jim and all the guys at Sierra Vista absolutely for letting you hang out with them and for not letting you shoot a bigger bull than mine I mean thank you guys so much hey if you happen to see the lucky logo which was a mare step this week you're gonna need to log on to archerschoice.com yep Click on the lucky logo. Click on the little lo lucky logo button. Fill out the information. And guess what? Somebody is going to win some great prizes from Maristep. And thanks for Maristep for participating in it. Absolutely. And next week, we're going to head down to Pike County, Illinois. Illinois, Big Bucks, Pike County, Eagle Lakes, Ted and Tina, and well, we're going to take you on an array of different hunts from early to, 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 to rut hunts to late season snow hunts. All of it? We got so much action in whitetails, you can't believe it. It's almost like its own DVD, SWD. You're going to start using bigger words like array this array. year? Is that a new thing for you? New word a day? Yes. Hey, wanna thank I you got a couple watching. other words. <laughs> we want to thank you for watching this week's Archer's Choice. We'll see you next week, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on the, the Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice.